This was the celebration in Beijing, mm -hmm. and uh, he's the head of Merck. And then this is the group that had worked on the project. I knew that the vaccine project was going to happen. The Chinese were looking for a vaccine against hepatitis B. And uh, so they were interviewing different companies that made it, and Merck was one of those. So I very much wanted to be on the project. I volunteered myself like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I lobbied to, uh, to be included in the project. It was an interesting challenge to try to transfer the Western culture of uh, pharmaceutical manufacturing, transfer that cultural attitude to their situation. This was a one way to practice their English vocabulary, was making words. And then we uh, ate Oreos because that's an American cookie. <laughs> and, uh, so we were trying to introduce them to some common American activities and foods. The part that my father enjoyed the most was working with the village farmers. Evangelism was his primary purpose, but doing it through uh, agricultural work was a very effective way to make that bridge. The one man at the other table kept looking over at us, and after a while he came over and he asked, Ni Xing Wang Ma, is your name Wang? And I said, it was. And he said, your father helped me when I was a child. I had cut off the end of my fingers, and he took me to the hospital to get it mended. And that was just 50 years earlier. So I was the same age at that time that he had been when dad took care of him and he recognized me because I look a lot like my father. Mother had treated so many people who had complications in childbirth from hepatitis and then to go back, work in public health the way that she had, to me was uh, kind of closing the circle from, from mother to child and, and back again. So that was satisfying to, to think that I was uh, following what mother had started there. <laughs>